big night at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, the second triple crown race as the 250 East took center stage. Race number one, all eyes on Jet Lawrence. And Ricky, he had a great start. It was just the way this first lap ended. Yeah, certainly was. He's going to go into this left-hander right here. He's going to initiate his corner. And as he does that, boom, just slicks up. This track was freshly prepped from the practice sessions earlier today till nighttime. They put a little water down to get some moisture into the dirt. And that would not be the end of the tip overs as Pierce Brown also a victim to some slick sections on the course. Jeremy Martin also went down at a time. And then it was time for the Kawasaki's to unleash. They did. Check out Austin Forkner. He gets a good drive down the back side of that double. And both him and his teammate Cameron McAdoo get by Styles Robertson. Forkner looked smooth throughout the night. And then the man who was in 18th place, Jet Lawrence, working himself all the way up to fourth. Yeah, an incredible comeback in a short amount of time. Get by a, a lot of good guys. Only 10 minutes plus one lap. So great comeback by Jet Lawrence to be able to uh, manage the damage that possibly could have been. Austin Forkner, though, riding very smooth throughout the night. And uh, he put some distance on himself and the rest as the checkered flag comes out. He takes the win in race number one. Now, remember, the Triple Crown format, it's three races lowest cumulative score so we now turn our attention to triple crown race number two for 250s and this time jet a little smoother yeah i mean basically from wire to wire he's going to get by styles robertson which gets another great start he gets by him pretty quick and then he checks out looks he comes out of that corner gets a really good drive and is able to blitz through the whoops substantially faster he was riding a little angry after what happened on race number one he was able to work himself up to fourth but this one would be all him and austin forkner having some issues yeah not sure what happened there but not sure if he missed his break or whatever but he went off grabs a handful and really that's where it started to go bad the rest of the night for austin forkner rj hampshire this is a scary moment here it goes over the top comes down makes contact with the back wheel of another rider and he was in a very precarious situation had to be helped up his night would be done. Yeah, racing situation was nothing he could do. Checker flag in race number two would go the way of the young Australian. Very clean on this one. So Jet Lawrence now sitting on four points with Austin Forkner. And it was a crazy night of points as everyone's doing the math. It turns all our attention now to Triple Crown race number three. And again, Jet gets a great start. Yep, he does. And he closes the door. But check that out. That oh. right hand first corner. He comes out there, has his legs out, leans the bike over. Boom, and he slides out. Another simple mistake. Forced error by himself. No one to blame but him. Jay Owen goes out in front. Pierce Brown also taking advantage of that opportunity. But the big winner on the night was Cameron McAdoo. Found clean lines, Ricky, and just checked away from everyone. But the big moment of the night really was unfortunate situation. As Jet made his way through the field, he was anxious to get to the front. Yeah, he was. And he was making up a lot of time on a lot of great guys, blowing by dudes in the whoops. And Man, I mean, just coming, coming through and uh, incredible comeback there at the beginning. Jeremy Martin had a good night running. And it's Austin Fortner trying to make his yeah. way in. And there, look at that. We saw this happen in the 450 yeah. class with Justin Brayton and Dylan Ferrandez, guy that would get a good drive out of the corner, would just come up on the guy from the inside. But this was the moment of the night. This was the battle going on as Jet Lawrence gets loose there. Now watch, he comes around here and make contact with a tough block. Goes cross track and Ricky, Austin Forker had nowhere to go. Well, he didn't. And if I didn't see that tough block move when Jet took off, I'd probably say that was a really poor choice. Nevertheless, you know that both this all, all of this both could have been avoided by both riders. So uh, hate to see it. Hopefully everybody is okay. Hopefully Austin's okay and uh, lives to fight another day. In the end, though, Cameron McAdoo coming around. He takes the win in race number three. That gives him the overall, and what a night for the Kawasaki rider. Yeah, straight up, he earned it. All the other guys had this same opportunity as he did, and he was just straight up better than all the guys. Look at Jets mad, but that one's on him. 250 East ends with Cameron McAdoo on top, Jeremy Martin finishing in second, and Jet Lawrence finishing in third. Congratulations to all of them as they now turn their attention to Daytona Beach, Florida, 250 East, round three.